Have you ever wanted to burn long straight lines but were afraid to try? Well, stick around, I'll show you a quick and easy way. Hey everybody, I'm Dirt the Pyrographer with Shoemaker Pyro Shop, here with my business partner and wife Jody. Today we wanted to share with you a trick for burning straight lines. Burning straight lines is one of the most difficult things to do in pyrography and doing it freehand is almost impossible. Uh, you can draw a guideline but it always seems that you get off that line especially with going with the grain. So one method that some people use is a ruler uh, that can be useful, but the problem is it sucks heat out of your burning tip, so it makes it very difficult to get a consistent clean line. So this is a method that we use here at our shop. Because he's bossy. <laughs> For this video, I'm going to teach Jody how to burn straight lines while you all follow along. I'll try not to screw it up. <laughs> okay the first tool you're going to need for this method is a ruler i prefer a metal ruler but you can use wood the metal ruler i have here is part of my combination square i'm going to put the combination part back on so it's easier to draw parallel and perpendicular line the first tool you're going to need is something to mark the wood with one of the easiest and simplest tools to find is a hobby blade it, they're very inexpensive and you can find them anywhere Another option is just a handy pocket knife. You can flip it out and use that to mark. My preferred tool for this method is a marking knife. It has the knife bevel on one side, but it's flat on the other. This makes it so you can put it right up against the ruler and get the line right every single time. The last tool you're gonna need is a skew tip burner pen. The one we're using here is the Colwood replaceable tip. The first step is placing the metal ruler on the wood in the direction that you want your line to go. For the second step, you're going to very lightly mark down the wood right up against the ruler. Now you want to keep it in the same place, the ruler in the same place, and mark two more times just a little bit deeper each time. One more time. So now we're going to have Jody mark one more line. She's going to place it in another spot about an inch away. And that will be parallel with the other line. While she's doing this, she wants to make sure that the fingers on her left hand are away from the blade, and she's very careful while cutting not to hit her fingers. It is true. So once, twice, and just a little deeper the third time. Now when she removes the ruler, you can see there, there are two marks on the board, very easy to see. Uh, these are grooves where your pen is going to follow. At this point, we're going to pull out our skew tip, plug it into our burner, and turn it on. You want it up high enough so you can get a fairly consistent line, but you don't want it up so high that you're getting heavy consistent smoke and burning outside of the line. It's going to take about 20. One more tool I like to use for this is a cutter with an edge guide. So this edge rides along the edge of the wood while the cutter makes a line. So here, if we just pop it on there, and rub it down, you can see a nice line that is perfectly parallel to the edge of the wood. So we're going to have Jody burn this line now. It is hot enough, so I'm going to go ahead and start. Okay. 
You don't want to pull too fast so that you get even color throughout the line. Oops. Another nice straight line. So you can see that Jody has never done this before, but she put two parallel lines against the grain and then even put a very long straight line with the grain. That is very difficult to do freehand and is almost impossible to do without some sort of a guide. There you go. Very quick and easy to do. I use this technique for drawer fronts. Anytime that you need long lines that are very straight, you only get one shot at it. And you can get creative with this. Go with different lines, with different diagonal lines. Just go crazy. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe. Do you use another method for this? Tell us in the comments. We'd love to hear what other people are doing out there. Absolutely. Our way is not the only way. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you found this useful and happy burning. The first tool you're going to need is something to mark it with. Uh, one option is a hobby knife. <laughs> <laughs>